Best Bites Forever. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Best Bites Forever. I'm Chef Alicia and today I'm going to show you how to make this really delicious stuffed zucchini recipe. If you enjoy this video, please make sure that you give it a like. Also subscribe and ring that bell when you subscribe. That will give you notifications when I post new videos. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, so do be sure to come back also on those days and see what is cooking over here. And oh, in this video I am doing a collaboration with several other YouTube channels. I'm going to leave links down below in the description. Everybody is making a really delicious New Year's appetizer for you for your New Year's appetizer party needs. And let's get started. I'm starting off here with three zucchini, which I have already washed. And I just am going to trim the ends off of these. Once I get all of the ends trimmed off, I'm going to stand them up and slice them right down the middle so that I have two lovely long pieces of zucchini. Then I'm going to take my melon baller and just take out the inside of my zucchinis. And you want to be careful when you're doing this not to go past the edges because those little edges are going to help hold your filling in. I'm also going to go back over this and kind of make it deeper so that I can get the maximum amount of filling into each zucchini. The next thing that I'm doing is mixing together my filling. I have eight ounces of par-cooked sausage, so I did cook this in a pan for just a couple of minutes to get the cooking started, and I'm going to break it into smaller pieces before I add in my cheese. I have mozzarella cheese here, two cups of it. When we served this in our restaurant, we did a five cheese blend, which was absolutely wonderful, but today I'm going with the mozzarella, which is going to be delicious as well. Spray the insides of your zucchinis with olive oil and sprinkle them with kosher salt and pepper before you start adding in your filling. Make sure that when you're adding this delicious filling in that you are kind of overstuffing them. This is much easier to do if you hold it over the bowl like so and stuff it because then as it's falling it's not making a mess. Once you get them all stuffed, go ahead and grate some Parmesan cheese over the top of each one. I'm using my microplaner to do this, which I love very, very much. These are ready to go into the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and they are going to look like this when they come out. Because I'm serving these as an appetizer, I want to let them cool off for just a couple of minutes and then slice them into appetizer e size pieces. So these are all ready to serve and of course I'm going to go ahead and try one and this is what they look like all plated up. Hi again everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. Please make sure that you give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, ring the bell so that you get notifications and do make sure that you go and check out all of those other channels. The links are down below in the description. They all made something really yummy for you to pass around at your New Year's party or any party for that matter. Also be sure to check back on Tuesdays and Fridays for new videos and Happy New Year everyone! Bye! Best Bites Forever.com